Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking Channel tonight. Tonight I'm going to make an interesting dish that comes from the East Coast of the United States. Actually, it comes from a part of Long Island that used to be called the Springs. Okay, actually, it was called the Springs by the natives, but the exact location of the dish I'm making was East Hampton, New York, part of Long Island. Tonight I'm going to be making something called Bonnaker style clam fritters, okay? The Bonnick people, the Bonnickers, okay, came to the United States, okay, from England, okay? They landed on the shores of New York, okay, in the East Hampton region of New York, and settled in, okay? The Bonnaker people were people that worked off the land. They were fishermen, they were farmers, they were clammers, okay? And this is what they did to make a living. All right? A lot of the dishes that we serve in places like Boston, New York, Rhode Island, okay, these are actually dishes that originated from the Bonnaker people. Here's one for you. Clam chowder, the original clam chowder isn't white with cream and flour. The original clam chowder came from the Bonnack people and it was made with tomatoes in a red base Hence, Manhattan-style clam chowder. Yeah, baby, Manhattan. And it's a great dish. Okay? But the Bonnack people inhabited the United States along the 16th, 17th, 18th centuries in New York, in Long Island. Okay? And along that time, the Depression hit. 1929. Okay? Now, that Depression lasted 16 years. Okay? From 1929 to 1945. The Bonnack people were affected by it, but the difference between the Bonnack people and city dwellers is the Bonnack people, like other people from other parts of the United States, they lived off the land. So even though things were hard for the Bonnack people, it was a lot harder for the city dwellers. The Bonnackers, they just kept on fishing, kept on farming, kept on clamming, and kept on eating off the land. So they got through it a little bit easier than the rest of us. The problem is, that there aren't too many bonnickers left, or what they call hub, uh, bubs, excuse me, what they call bubs, um, or bubbies. Because what happened is that after World War II, developers went to East Hampton and said, oh my God, look at this shoreline. This would be fantastic for the richest people in the United States to have houses. So the developers came up there, they started building mansions, and houses and cabins for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars forcing the Bonnack people out. Okay, So today, if there are any Bonnack people left, they're all over the United States because what used to be the Springs, what used to be East Hampton, is now called the Hamptons due to the developers. Okay. The Hamptons, you know, where the politicians and the rich movie stars go, Hey, I'll be spending my summer up in my mansion in the Hamptons. <laughs> that territory used to be Bonnack territory. So today, if you meet a descendant of the Bonnacks, you're meeting a piece of American history. So tonight, I'm going to be making Bonnacker style clam fritters. And I'm going to make them the usual way with a couple of little extra twists and turns here that, that I like to add. And I have a friend named Ariel at a channel called Ariel Keeping It Real. And she does gluten-free recipes. And we started talking lately because I found her channel from somebody else's channel. And she's from my old stomping grounds in New York City because I'm originally New Yorker. Okay. And she said, hey, we ought to get together and do a collab. And this like, week, okay, fine. I'm going to make bonica style clam fritters, okay? And the sauce I'm going to use for dipping is Argentinian chimichurri sauce. Now, usually, bonica style clam fritters are served with malt, vinegar, tartar sauce, hot sauce. But I thought I would blend two worlds together. Argentinian chimichurri sauce is just fantastic. I, you can't think of anything that chimichurri sauce doesn't make better. Pasta, beef, pork, chicken, rice, potatoes. Chimichurri sauce makes anything better. So I thought I would bring the two cultures together. Bonnaker style clam fritters and Argentinian chimichurri sauce. It's going to be a good dish. 
I'm going to make it the usual way here on my channel. And then next week, or hopefully even sooner, Ariel at Ariel Keeping It Real, and I'm going to leave a link to her channel in my description, is going to make it in a gluten-free fashion. So as usual with you two, 15 minutes, let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so the first order of business is we're going to make the chimichurri sauce because we can let that chimichurri sit and marry while I make the clam fritters. So, the first thing is we're going to put a nice healthy bunch of cilantro into the food processor. Okay, And along with that, we're going to put a nice bunch of Italian flat leaf parsley. Okay. Now I'm going to blend this down a little bit. Okay. Now to that, I'm going to add some garlic. Okay. And I'm going to add some red flake chili, some black pepper, some red wine vinegar. A little bit of salt, a little bit of dried oregano, okay, and some shallot, okay. And we're not done yet. About a cup of olive oil to get it going. There we go. There we go. All right. So the chimichurri is coming along quite well. I have just a little bit more of the flat leaf parsley and cilantro left. There we go. And usually this is a little bit uncommon. People add cumin. I don't have cumin. So what I'm going to add here is about a teaspoon and a half of South African smoked herbs and spices. And to that, I'm also going to add some capers. Now the capers is optional. You usually don't see it in chimichurri, but there are times when you do. There we go. And if you need, you can add a little bit more olive oil. If you need. All right, there you have it. The chimichurri sauce is done. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to let the flavors marry. And we're going to move on to making some Bonnaker style clam fritters. All right, guys. It's time to make the clam batter, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take some AP flour, okay? And some baking soda, and some baking powder, okay? And I'm gonna aerate that, aerate, aerate. I'm gonna whisk it together, okay? For that, eggs, And a little bit of lemon juice for some tart. Okay, and a little bit of clam juice. Where did my clam? Oh, there it is. There's my clam juice. That's from the clams themselves. Oops, excuse the noise. Okay, and I'm gonna whisk this together. Break those yolks. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna add a little milk. Okay. That's going to help loosen it up again. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's going to be a nice, thick batter. There we go. The milk does it. And to that, some melted butter. Actually, what I'm using isn't butter. It's ghee. I've been using a lot of ghee lately. All right. 
a little bit of garlic, fresh mint. Lovely, lovely. Some chili flakes. Oh yeah, I can smell it already. A little bit of brown sugar. Come on out. The sugar is optional. I happen to like brown sugar, so I'm gonna add it to this batter. All right. If you happen to have some fresh basil, put it in. About two tablespoons of fresh basil leaf and if you don't have fresh you can use one tablespoon of dry basil leaf like I'm using here and here's some dry thyme. All right. This is smelling good already. Here's some scallions. Nice thick batter. I know you're wondering where are the clams? Well, the clams are coming. There's some regular brown onion. Oh, these fritters are gonna be so good. There we go. Brown onion, and here are the clams. About four dozen chopped cherry stones. Whatever kind of clam you can get will work. I was just lucky enough here in Las Vegas to find cherry stone clams. There we go. And here is our nice thick batter. It does not take much to get this going. And I'll get that batter out of our whisk. batter out of our whisk and I'll whisk it a little more and we're going to get ready to fry up these fritters. Okay, here we go. Time to make the fritters. So I'm going to take a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half and I'll lay it right here in the corner. Small amounts. We don't want to crowd. Okay, small amounts. We don't want to crowd. There we go. Probably get three or four at a time done. There we go. Get these going for about or three minutes on each side and then we're going to turn them. Okay so we flipped the first batch over and you can see these clam fritters are nice and golden brown. Oh my god they smell so good and about another two minutes on the other side and I'm going to take these out and put them on paper towel to drain now I'm going to put the next batch in. But look at that golden brown color. Looks almost like fried chicken. Mm, mm, mm. It looks so good. Smells so good. And I'm going to drop the next batch in another minute or so. All right. Now we're going to drop our next batch. So here we go. There we go. Go. Yeah. yeah. About four at a time, because I'm using a 10 inch skillet. There we go. And this will be our next batch. Alright, guys, here's my third load. Look at these clam fritters. Oh my god. Golden brown. Just like an apple fritter. Mmm. Delicious. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, there you have it. Boniker style clam fritters and Argentinian chimichurri sauce. The blending of two worlds come together and it's delicious. Okay, nice golden brown clam fritters. Okay, and the lovely savory taste of this chimichurri sauce. I think it's a combination made in heaven. I hope you try it. I know you'll love it. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hey guys, I want to thank you for stopping by Music Cooking Channel tonight. I hope you make this recipe. Boniker style clam fritters. They're delicious with a lovely Argentinian chimichurri sauce. I hope you make this recipe. I hope you make it your own. I'm glad you stopped by. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.